Okay, Dan, um, are you English or Singaporean? Which one are you? Let's clear that out first. English a passport? Of, a bit of both, mate. Uh, Singapore passport, born in England. Just go back for holidays now, so probably more Singaporean than anything now. Are you picking up any Singaporean traits? Are you pushing in at queues and that kind of stuff? I think it's the Chinese who do that more than anything. My wife used to do it when she first came to Singapore. Yeah. Um, but they, they teach you pretty fast not to do that here. So, uh, no, I, I don't push into queues here. Very um, oddly in Singapore. You're very, you're very much an Englishman sort of rule. That's right, yeah. Um, all right, so you've been playing, you used to play in, Eng in the UK. Who did you play for in England? Um, played for Wrexham for almost two years. Right. 2001, two, three. Then first in the first division, relegated and then prom promoted again in 2003, I think. Well, I had a big mate, well actually he's more of a little mate, he's about four foot six. He was a Wrexham fan back in the day and uh, he should tell me about the rivalry between Wrexham and Chester City. Did you ever en en encounter any of that? Um, actually during the time I was there, they were in the division below us, so uh, I never actually played against them, but there was a game on the training field one day and I think that ended in a, a punch-up, so I <laughs> that, did experience it slightly. That yeah. was the players? That's right, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so having experienced something like a rivalry like that, have you got any kind of similar rivalries here in Singapore that you think, hey, yep, it's going to happen today? Uh, the problem with Singapore is it's so small, you see everybody on the street every day, so it's hard to have the rivalry. You've played with every player in Singapore for two different clubs, so... Uh, of course there's a rivalry between the top teams, Tampini's, SAF and Home United, but generally the, the, there's not the same rivalry as say in, in England or, or bigger countries. Right. When you when you were growing up, who did you support as a fan when you were growing up? I was a Evertonian, well I still am, Evertonian. My, my family is all from Liverpool, so I support Everton. When you, when, so when you're playing here, you know, you, you've experienced a bit of the passion that we get in the UK from Wrexham and... I guess even Everton have a bit of passion. Uh, obviously, on the Singapore terraces, it's not quite the same. But do you find it motivating yourself sometimes for games a bit difficult? Yeah, in the, in the last, well, since I've been playing here, it's, it's been disappointing that the the number of fans showing up for games has decreased dramatically. I remember a game when I played Tanjung Paga, one of the first games I played, and there were queues down the road to get in against SAF, and since then. We're struggling to get the fans, and that's the biggest disappointment here. It's, it's difficult to, to motivate yourself when the fans aren't coming, because that's the biggest thing when you're a professional footballer, you want the fans in. And uh, that's probably the lure which is taking a lot of the Singapore players out of Singapore at the moment. So what about, I mean, what do you put that down to? Why do you think the fans are staying away? Um, well, if I could answer that question, then FAS would probably have me on the, on the board, wouldn't they? But, we'll, we'll um, suck, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, it's not the quality of football because I think the quality of football is, is not bad and possibly gone down slightly in the last couple of years but um, I, I actually think in Singapore there needs to be a bit more uh, they have to let things go a bit more I think sometimes it's a little bit too controlled and fans like to come in and watch, watch something happen unexpectedly and they like the things on the spur of the moment so um, that's not happening, and as soon as something happens, we call into the disciplinary committee. So I'd like to see things let go a little bit more, and a few more rivalries going on. You know, even when there was the issue with the, when I had an issue with a player a couple of seasons ago, there was so much more rivalry. The, the atmosphere was more intense, and you know, in, I didn't enjoy it, but it made it made for the the game to be more exciting for the fans. Right. You, you touched briefly on the players who've gone abroad to work, mostly play in Indonesia and now to, to Thailand. Uh, have you contemplated such a move yourself? Do you fancy it yourself sometime? Uh, well, it's gone. It's gone through the minds of probably most Singapore footballers to, to move abroad, uh, just for the experience, for the for the fans. You know, we hear of stadiums packed in Indonesia. The quality of football in Thailand, I think, is is probably better, and and uh, I'd move if the right the, the right offer came along. If it was a good club, uh, I want to play good football. I wouldn't run for the money. I'd, I, w I would like to play some good football, and um, it's still an option for me now. Yes. Right. Talking about good footballers, um, and you mentioned before the quality of the football here is pretty good. What um, which players when you're playing here? Which players do you most enjoy playing against? Playing against. Yeah. 
for a bit of rough and tumble on the pitch and you know the, the difficult ones or the tough opponents or I like the ones who give me a fight normally not the ones who are dirty but the ones who give me a, a, a good fight at the back where you, you have to be alert the whole game uh, I don't like the strikers who stand still all, all game and then score a goal yeah uh, I like the ones who really work hard and have you got any examples of people like that um I don't want to say names on here, but there are there are a few who give me a good fight, and sometimes I try to talk to them to, to ease them down, but they don't seem interested. <laughs> so do you find, I mean, you know, again, the English thing, you have this whole thing about the banter in the dressing room in England. Um, here in Singapore, squeaky clean, and everyone's polite and everything. How's the banter in the, in the dressing room here compared to what you, used, what you grew up with in England? Um, I think that's probably one of the most difficult things for players coming over, especially from England. And it's a reason why possibly a lot of them don't succeed here. I think it's easy to come here and play, but at the end of the day, it's, 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 about, the, it's about the cultural difference here in Singapore than England. It's, it's very difficult to adapt to uh, moving out here. Uh, there are players who have done it. Daniel Hammond, he's, he seems to have adapted very well. Yeah. And, uh, you know, even if you've played at a high level, sometimes those players don't succeed here. So it's it's not it's not easy at all. But no, there's there's banter, but the banter is a, a different style banter. Yeah. Different style, right? Let's just finish then by talking about um, your team, SAF. They were champions four years on the trot, and then last year they kind of struggled a little bit after letting a few pairs go. Um, any thoughts about the season ahead for you guys? Uh, it was a difficult year last year. Um, you know, if you don't get a good start. And then it becomes very, very difficult. And that's what happened last year. We had a couple of problems. We had a new team. A lot of quality, experienced players left, left the squad. And uh, it's, it's been a rebuilding process and it doesn't happen in a year. And we're looking this year to, to build on what we had last year. A few changes again. And, and uh, no, I mean, we've had, we've had easy games so far. But when it comes to the crunch at the end of this first round, then we'll probably see where we're where we're heading this year and hopefully we'll be in the right direction. So the coach has made this defence a lot stronger, hasn't he, by bringing in um, Dan Hammond and Bar Mamadou? Yeah, we, we have options in defence. Uh, whether he wants to play three at the back or four at the back, it, it, time will tell. But, um, no, we, we have a bigger squad. We have players who can who can come in when the, when the player's injured. We have a lot of in, injured players at the moment. So uh, probably this year's squad is stronger than last year's and we hope to finish higher up the table. And if SAF is uh, not challenging for trophies, then there's something wrong. All right, mate, thanks a lot. You're starting to sweat a bit there, so yeah. we'll get out of the sun. Okay, cheers, cheers man. <laughs>